welcome back to Dream It Do It. It's day 10 and today I'm going to be talking to you again about vision boards. But first, we're nicely into week one of our 12 week year and I want to be sure that you're taking action every day. So have you taken out your notebook yet and written out your daily plan? Have you looked at your weekly plan? And do you know what your actions are for today? If you haven't done it, pause me right now and go and write out your actions and get going with those. It's so important that we take action during this 12 week year to move us towards our ultimate goals. Right, now that I've covered that, let's get on with today's subject. Today we're talking about vision boards and I can hear you asking, hmm, Karina, didn't we do vision boards a couple of days ago? And my answer would be, yes, we did. But <laughs> stick with me. The vision board that we did a couple of days ago was specifically for this 12 week period that we're in right now. I think it's fun to have a longer term vision board as well so that we can look at both of them. The 12 week one is really to align with our current goals and to get us inspired to work on those every day. Whereas the longer term vision is to inspire us for the bigger picture and to remind us those big goals that we're working towards. Because we create our vision boards digitally, it's easy to be able to flip between the two of them. It keeps things interesting. We can set them as the background on our computers or as screensavers or on our phones. And we can have it so that it rotates. So this is what I do personally on my Mac. I set my vision board as my background and then I create a folder with, with multiple vision boards in and it rotates through. So at different times, I've tried different things out. Last year, I had a monthly, a yearly and a long term vision board that rotated. The only thing I found is that it became quite time consuming trying to recreate a new vision board each month. So I actually think that having a quarterly vision board or for us a 12 week year vision board and then a longer term vision board is the sweet spot. And of course you can go and update and change your vision board whenever you want to. There's nothing to say that it has to stay the same. So I've already done the video that shows you how to create a digital vision board. I'll make sure that I drop the link for that down below and hopefully a card somewhere here. So that shows you how to do it. Today, I just want to quickly cover how to go about creating a vision board that's more focused on your long term and how to set it up so that you can have it on rotation on your computer and also give you a few additional ideas for where you may use your digital vision board to make sure that you're seeing it all the time and keeping it at the forefront of your mind. To start the process for creating your longer term vision board, go back to your notes from day two where you answered all the questions about what your big vision is for your life and also revisit day five where we looked at what your life goals are, so your bigger picture goals, that gives you your vision and your life goals. Looking at the life goals, you're going to go and find pictures that inspire you and fill you with excitement about those goals to use on your vision board. Once you've followed the process to create your long term vision board, don't forget to export it as an image and then you can set it as the background on your computer. If you have a MacBook, it's easy to create a background that rotates between different images. I'll insert a quick screen share here to show you how to do that.
Other ways that you can use your vision boards are to set them as a screensaver on your computer. So there's the background or there's the screensaver. You can also use a digital vision board as the home screen or the lock screen on a phone or on a tablet. That's a great place to put them. And of course you can print them out. You can print them out yourself or get them printed out professionally. You could laminate it and put it somewhere where you'll see it every day. You can print it out and maybe cut it up into smaller pieces and stick it in your notebook. So you could put it in the inside cover of a book or you could print out your vision board on card and choose a column that particularly inspires you, cut it out and use it as a bookmark, or even you could laminate that and use it as a bookmark. So there's lots of different ways that you can use your vision board so that you see it every day, when you're reading your book every day, when you're opening your computer or using your phone every day. What's key is you want to keep your long-term vision and your 12 year vision, 12 week year vision in front of you as much as possible so that it can inspire you and help attract those things to you. I would love to hear if you have any things that you do to keep your vision board at the forefront of your mind every day. Where do you put yours? Do you print it? Do you use it digitally? Do you do a bit of both? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear. I've also heard of people creating vision videos or vision audios for themselves. Have you ever done that? I would love to find some people who've done that and maybe even have a little chat about how you did it and whether you found it effective, how often you watch it or listen to it. So again, let me know in the comments. Well, I hope that you found today's video helpful. Do let me know when you've done your vision boards and how you got on with them, or if you've got any questions, drop those below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank you.